Welcome back for another edition of Calhoun County's Most Wanted, the program where you get to help make Calhoun County a better and safer place by helping us lock up the back. I'm Chris Wright, along with Chief Deputy Matt, uh, John Garlic. <laughs> you almost did it. Didn't you? Almost did it. Oh, almost said Matthew. Uh, he's not Chief Deputy anymore. He's he's, no. he's the big chief. That would be Sheriff Matthew Wade. <laughs> but, uh, John Garlic is our Chief Deputy now, and um, so. How's it going? It, it's going well. I'm very <laughs> glad to be here. Um, sheriff's out, out doing sheriffing things, and so I got the call to be here today. And glad to be here. It's always good to see you on the set. Now, I know that you and the sheriff, even though he's already it's, you know gotten out for a bit, um, had a very busy weekend. We had a very busy weekend, yeah. Um, probably most of the viewers saw the Facebook post. We had a 16-year-old girl who ran away from home. Um, this weekend and that case is very st still much under investigations there's um, lots of charges probably coming down on the adult that she hooked up with but it is it is a cautionary tale and one that uh, dovetails nicely into our parent to speak um, and we'll see that here shortly. we'll see the, yeah we'll see that here shortly so it, it's one where um, teenager likes to play online video games and on those video games that you're playing online you never know who you're playing with and, or where they where, where they are, and and she made contact with and later hooked up with uh, an adult male, and, uh, and we believe that she knew who he was, or and, and that he was an adult male. But uh, we also believe that he was able to manipulate that situation. Mm -hmm. Teenagers being impulsive, yeah. and we don't want to give away too many details and right. stuff, and put too much spotlight on this family. They they yeah. needed some attention to begin with to help find their daughter. At this point, we want to let them have as much privacy yes. as possible, but we also want to make sure that uh, our viewers and everybody in the community understands the very real and close to home dangers that the internet poses in, in so many different ways. Very dangerous, and, and it can happen in a, in a heartbeat, and, and your, the kid is gone, um, corrupted, if you will, mentally by these predators that are out there on the internet. and. Uh, it's it's dangerous it's very very dangerous lots of things can happen once your child leaves home um, and uh, so we were we worked very hard we had lots of help from local law enforcement agencies uh, in Georgia and Tennessee um, lots of help from some other agencies and we were able to to find them and lots and, of help from the public as well I noticed yes. that the the Facebook posts and, and what was shared on social media had reached hundreds of thousands of people. Right, social media is very powerful, um, and it was it was used diligently uh, mm -hmm. in this case. And yeah, it's it's a wonderful tool, and was very very helpful. And we always appreciate our viewers contributing information, uh, which they do every week, and it helps get the job done. Whether it's finding somebody that's in danger or finding somebody that's in danger of doing harm to you and your family. And again, this week, we got some more useful information. We did, and uh, our, our useful information led to the arrest of some four people, bringing our count to closer to that 4,000 number, 3,997, just three to go. All right, so get some more information coming in. Well, you haven't seen the lineup yet, but that's coming next. We'll tell you about some folks that we are looking for, and hopefully you can help us find them. When we come back here on Calhoun County is Most Wanted, and we'll have some information about how you might be able to pay for college. Ooh. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality, and Sunny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved. A crackhead. Drug addict. Alcoholic. Meth freak. A rich. Like me. I once was. Homeless. Broken. Sad. Just lost. But now I am. Sober. Happy. I'm fine. 
was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. AOD Federal Credit Union. You already know their friendly staff and great loan products. So here's reason number eight to choose AOD FCU, a new all platinum Visa credit card. Call 1 800 637 0299 or visit AODFCU.com to start earning 1% cash back on purchases. Your good credit earns you a better rate. A new Platinum Visa card. Another reason you belong at AOD Federal Credit Union. I have a, my own lung care service. One day I had some blaze that was bent. I was probably here for five minutes and they had me back on the road going. It helps me make more money uh, simply because. It's, it's a more dependable machine. And side-by-side -side comparisons, people want to say they're better, but I've driven them and Toro is the best. Hey folks, come see us at Foothills Tractor. We're your one-stop shop for anything you need. Locally owned, locally operated, give you the best customer service, guaranteed. Hi, I'm Katina Houston Stroud with Family Links and this is the Family Tip of the Week. Your teen needed a laptop for school, so you bought it. He needed a phone to keep in touch with you, so after a half hour argument with him at the wireless store, a phone became an iPhone 6. He has an iPad Air because after you told him it wasn't in the budget, he spent the weekend with his dad, and voila, he has an iPad. Now, every time you look at your son, he has a screen in front of his face, barely audible text notifications going off at all hours, and he's on social media sites you've never heard of. Suddenly, his use of technology has gone past schoolwork and into a strange kind of secrecy. Technology is empowering and necessary for kids and for parents, but the longer I work with families in my practice, the more I see technology becoming problematic for them. Think about your child's smartphone. It's a very complex device that can be used for good or bad. It's a communication tool and a wonderful research and study tool. For the kid who struggles to focus on homework, however, it's a chronic distraction machine, an ADD machine, if you will. It's a camera and video camera that can broadcast your child's mistakes and poor choices to the world in seconds. It's a weapon for bullying and a source of anxiety for kids who are bullied. It's a reason your son doesn't get enough sleep at night. It's a pornography machine at the touch of the wrong link. It's a device that can expose your young child to things you don't want her to see, ever. So how are your kids using technology? Do you know what they're looking at when they're curled up on the sofa for five hours with their phone six inches from their face? When you ask them who they're talking to online, do you get a one word snippy answer, if any answer at all? It's tricky territory for parents. Your teen knows more about the online world than you probably will ever will, and it can quickly become another way for your child to behave defiantly with you. So how do you even talk to your child about their own online life, interests, and safety? And there's nothing more powerful than parental influence in a child's life, but technology holds a seductive type of power for adults and kids that can overwhelm parental influence without us being aware of it. The antidote to this can be one or two sincere questions that you ask your child and a willingness and courage to allow for whatever the answer is. Remember, although they may be wizards with setting up devices and finding cool apps, most kids do not have the emotional intelligence to be able to manage and understand everything they're seeing online. And that's why parents need to be involved. For more tips, contact Family Links at 256-820-5911. And welcome to this week's edition of Calhoun County's Most Wanted. First up on our lineup this week, Watkins. Mr. Watkins, last known to be living in Southside, he's wanted for failure to appear on harassment. And this is Hunter Pate. Mr. Pate, last known to be living in DeArmondville, he's wanted for failure to pay on use and possession of drug paraphernalia. And take a look at Kenneth Thomas. Mr. Thomas, last known to be living in Prattville, he's wanted for failure to pay and promoting prison contraband third. And we'd like you to meet Darian Sherbet. Ms. Sherbet, last known to be living in Oxford, wanted for failure to pay on giving false name to law enforcement. And take a look at Jamarcus Kirksey. Mr. Kirksey, last known to be living in Weaver, he's wanted for failure to appear on possession of marijuana first. And meet Chad Bryant. Mr. Bryant, last known to be living in Jacksonville, he's wanted for non-payment of child support, the face of a deadbeat dad. And last up for the first half of our lineup, Denny Coggins. Mr. Coggins, last known to be living in Anniston, wanted for failure to pay on possession of marijuana second. And that's it for the first half of our lineup. Stay tuned for the second half later in the show. All right, we've got some more bad guys for you. We'll be talking about them in just a few minutes. But uh, right now, we want to welcome 
from the Army National Guard, Major Courtney Pullum, onto the show. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me on. Now, if, if anybody in the audience went to a JSU football game back in the early 90s, they've enjoyed your musical skills, haven't they? You would have seen that. The Martin Southerners around 1999, 2000, so I don't want to date myself too much. <laughs> I was dating you too early. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we hate to think that you might be as old as I am. Hey, it's rapidly approaching, almost 40. Mm -hmm. Oh, gee. Well, so, so you got involved with the Army National Guard while you were at JSU. I did, I did. And since then, it's taken you all over the world to, to sitting next to the Prime Minister of... Well, Iraq at the Iraq. time, Nouri al-Maliki, that was in 2007. Uh, I was the commander of the, the Joint Coordination Center in Samara, Iraq. We had a few incidents take place uh, in Samara of some, some noteworthiness. Uh, that turned into a meeting in the vicinity of my area. Uh, the power went out in that building. I had the most secure facility and was responsible for force protection there. I got a phone call that says, hey, we need to move to your location. Is that okay? We'll be there in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay is not really a question, is it? It's not really a question. <laughs> you don't really have an option. You're going to make it okay. Uh, so we all packed into a tight meeting space made for about maybe 40 people. We packed over 100 into that space. And, and I'm looking at General Odierno and Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki and everyone else packed into this room. And, and not just internationally, but you, you've been to every county in Alabama. You've been to every right. state in the United States a couple of times. Uh, Army National Guard is taking you around. The Army National Guard has made some opportunities to me and knowledge is available to me that I couldn't imagine getting anywhere else. Uh, like I say, all 67 counties for Guard in the state of Alabama for one reason or another. Uh, every state in the Union, every type of mission you can think of. And John, I know you were talking uh, before we got on the air about some connections. You guys have both been connected to places like Seychelles. Seychelles, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing how the world connects. It's a small world in, in, in some places. It's very small. Yeah. It is. It is. And a lot of people really live in a small world because they don't ever see much beyond the they're born. And, and I think it's so important to really get some actual experience outside your own borders, whatever your borders may be. Absolutely. To, to broaden your mind, broaden your understanding. and whether you end up coming back home or whatever you do, that experience is just so beneficial in so many ways. Oh, it is. It, it makes you a better person. And I know that cliche sometimes get used, overused rather, but it makes you a better person, more complete person. You have your perspective where you're from and you bring that out into the world, but then you get to see what other people think about and their perspective. And you learn that in the end of the day, we're all human beings, we're all people. Mm -hmm. We all have goals, hopes, dreams, plans. Of course, you're not really here to talk about the opportunities that the National Guard has given you. No. It, it's about the, the new opportunities that our legislature has just approved and the governor signed off on that's going to create some really good opportunities for the kids today. Great opportunities. We've, we've got a brand new law. Governor Ivey signed. Uh, it's tuition assistance from the state of Alabama that's going to provide tuition assistance for both new recruits uh, and currently existing members of the Guard. So this is going to help people pay for their education. We're talking about improving lives. Education Absolutely. improves lives in so many ways. And this isn't just going to help you out for a semester or a year or two years. You, with this program, you could potentially go in with a high school degree and come out with a doctorate. You have the potential to get a doctorate, yes, and that is something that didn't exist before, but now uh, you've got 12 years to use this benefit, which is a long time, that's a long span of time. Uh, you've also able, you've got the ability to get a two-year degree. Uh, if you don't need that, you've got the ability to get a bachelor's, a master's, and, and like you said, a doctorate. So it's all up to you it's how far you. you want to go with it. Yes, uh, and that's combined with all of your other benefits that you already had, your federal benefits, your tuition assistance, um, so forth and so on. And this is all about investing in the people that are joining the National Guard. Yes, yes. Uh, every Guard member makes an investment in their state and in the nation. Uh, and what the state has done, uh, especially in my, my time here, I've seen recently that they're making an investment in people. Um, what we want to do is give every person an opportunity to come see what the Guard is all about, 
come join the Guard, and then let us help you better yourself and create some more opportunities. And John, I know you're a big proponent of taking advantage of those opportunities. W w whatever you're doing, there's a way to improve yourself within that, and you've been doing that, and you've been encouraging others to do that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You, 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 education is one of the key ways to doing that, but even better understanding yourself, too. Um, but since we're talking about education, it's, it's a great way to improve your, your lot in life. Uh, you know, the harder, the luckier you are, and uh, so that's, that's a great way. And we've got some guys, some deputies that are in the National Guard, and some corrections officers that are in the National Guard, so they take advantage of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing like a good education. Absolutely. All right. Well, we need to take a quick break, but we want to get down and, and find out about the realities of how this is going to impact people and, and what they can do with this when we come back here on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. AOD Federal Credit Union. You already know their friendly staff and great loan products. So here's reason number eight to choose AOD FCU, a new all-platinum Visa credit card. Call 1-800-637-0299 or visit aodfcu.com to start earning 1% cash back on purchases. Your good credit earns you a better rate. A new Platinum Visa card. Another reason you belong at AOD Federal Credit Union. I have a, my own lawn care service. One day I had some blaze that was bent. I was probably here for five minutes and they had me back on the road going. It helps me make more money uh, simply because it's, it's a more dependable machine. And side-by-side -side comparisons, people want to say they're better, but I've driven them and Toro is the best. Hey folks, come see us at Foothills Tractor. We're your one-stop shop for anything you need. Locally owned, locally operated, give you the best customer service guaranteed. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality. And Sunny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. And welcome back to the second half of our lineup. First up this half, Dorothy Carroll. Miss Carroll, last known to be living in Piedmont, she's wanted for theft of property fourth. And this is Wendell Munn. Mr. Munn, known to be living in Anniston, he's wanted for failure on criminal mischief second. And meet Elena Katsinas, Miss Katsinas, last known to be living in Weaver. She's wanted for failure to pay on burglary third. And take a look, if you will, at Samantha Hill Fleming. Miss Hill Fleming, last known to be living in Oxford. She's wanted for probation violation on possession of a controlled substance. And this is Heidi Rogers, Miss Rogers, last known to be living in Oxford. She's wanted for receiving stolen property second. And last up in our lineup this week, Tiffany Shears. Miss Shears, last known to be living in Oxford. She's wanted for failure to pay on possession of a controlled substance. And that's it for our lineup this week. If you have any information on the whereabouts of these folks, please give us a call at Crime Stoppers. That number, 236-238-1414. We'll have the Crime Stoppers segment of the show and our crazy criminal coming up in just a few minutes. But right now we're talking with Major Courtney Pullum from the Alabama Army National Guard. We've been talking about educational assistance. This goes into effect September 1st of this year yes. where people in the, the Alabama National Army National Guard are going to be able to have up to 12 years to get their education paid for. Exactly. So whether they're looking for just a two-year degree which can make a huge difference in your life. We're going all the way through to getting a doctorate. That money's gonna be there for them to be able to do that. Obviously, it involves signing up to be a part of the Guard. Absolutely. And, and Absolutely. a lot of people don't understand exactly what that commitment is. So let's talk about that. When you sign up to be in the Alabama Army National Guard, what are you signing up to do? Well, when you sign up for the Alabama Army National Guard, you've joined the Army. Uh, but you have joined the one of the reserve components of the Army. You have the active Army, the Army Reserve, and the Army National Guard in every state. Ours, the state of Alabama, uh, that commitment is going to require you to, to first be able to meet some requirements for entry. You need to at least be 17 years old, um, uh, meeting the age requirement. We've got some physical aptitude requirements. We have some medical screening uh, that's going to happen. Uh, 
then you're actually going to come to me as the recruit sustainment commander, and then we're going to get you shipped off to basic training where you're going to learn your basic Army skills. Uh, so those are the requirements. And, of course, the drug screen um, also is a requirement that has to be met. Mm -hmm. Do you get to say, okay, I, I want to sign up, but I've got some particular interests? Absolutely. Absolutely. The Army is full of different types of jobs, everything from medical service uh, to military law enforcement, which is one of the things that I did. For those folks who are looking for a professional degree, your lawyers, your doctors, uh, your chaplains even, people who are going to go to the seminary, those opportunities are available to you in the Guard as well. Mm -hmm. uh, some of those have some very special benefits uh, in addition to what we're talking about today. But you've got everything from welders to plumbers, uh, engineers, and so forth and so on. And John, that, that goes in hand in hand with the educational aspect that we were promoting here on the show today and then talking about that. When you, when you can go in and you can get that education, and at the same time, when you finish that education, you also have this real-world experience that military service is not exactly the same as out in the civilian life, mm -hmm. but a lot of the work definitely translates, and, and that puts you so far out ahead of other candidates. Oh, it does. And, you know, not everybody needs or wants to go to college, but when you go into the military, you get a bunch of skills that, that you wouldn't necessarily get out in the, in the real world, so to speak, and employers look for that. Um, Army or military people who have finished their tour or finished with their, with their career, or even if they're in the Guard and they have a career on the weekend and two, two weeks a yeah. month, two weeks in the summer, um, they are sought after. They're, natural, they're not natural leaders. They are trained and very skilled leaders. And business needs that, law enforcement, everybody needs that. Leaders that actually know how to follow as well, isn't that right? You learn how to follow pretty quickly. You learn your role, um, as Chief Deputy Garlic articulated, uh, you learn some very valuable job skills, and you don't have to go to college. I'm glad you said that, Chief. Ultimately, you can get certifications that this helps you get, uh, usually through the junior college system, but folks can learn how to be well, just become certified. Uh, this assists with that, so I would urge everybody Dial 1-800-GO-GUARD. Let's put you in touch with a recruiter. Uh, you can text uh, for that generation to uh, money for school. That's the number four to nine five five seven seven. Or you can go. Uh, I think I hit you 1-800-GO-GUARD. Uh, but nationalguard.com forward slash al. Reach out there. Let's get in touch with a recruiter and let them give you the details and begin to assist you with what you want to do. And if people want to research a little bit on their own absolutely, and find out more about it, how can they do that? Uh, you can actually, there is an app. Uh, it's constantly being updated. You can find that on the Google Play Store. If you look out at uh, Alabama National Guard, it will orient you to the right place. The information that I just gave you. Uh, if you live in the vicinity of an armory, I think one of the closest here is going to be in Jacksonville, Alabama, up by the university. You see it off to the left, uh, right by Walmart. Stop there, make contact with a recruiter, and again, use those three numbers that I gave you. All right, very good. So a world of opportunity is world out there, and no reason not to go explore it and find out more. Please go get it. Please go get it. I, I want to see everyone do things that... that I did and didn't do. I wish I had done this earlier. So please take advantage of this opportunity. Right. Well, thank you very much. Major Pullum, appreciate you being Thanks here. Thanks so much for having me on, Mr. Wright. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank you for your service and go Gamecocks. Thank you. Go Gamecocks. Who <laughs> <All right>. Chief. <laughs> take care. Take care of yourself. All right. Uh, we'll be back in just a few moments. We'll have the Crime Stoppers segment of the show and our Crazy Criminal of the Week on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality, and Sunny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. I have a, my own lung care service. One day I had some blades that was bent. I was probably here for five minutes and they had me back on the road going. It helps me make more money uh, simply because it's, it's a more dependable machine. And side by side comparisons, people want to say they're better, but I've driven them and Toro is the best. Hey folks, come see us at Foothills Tractor. We're your one stop shop for anything you need. Locally owned, locally operated, 
give you the best customer service guaranteed. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a crackhead, drug addict, alcoholic, meth freak, a wretch like me. I once was homeless, broken, sad, just lost. But now I am sober, happy. I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. And welcome to the Crime Stoppers portion of our show where we ask you to give a help to our investigators. First up on your caseload this week on July 16th, a John Deere D11160 lawnmower was stolen from the 6000 block of Highway 431 in Alexandria. And on July 15th, a residence on Mitchellville Road in Ohatchee was burglarized. They got away with an Xbox One, a PlayStation 4, and the game controllers. And on July 15th, there was an attempted burglary on Grayton Road in Ohatchee. The resident was home at the time. The suspect did not gain entry into the residence, but that was a traumatic experience for the resident. And sometime between July 14th and July 15th, a Club Cadet Zero turn lawnmower black six by 10 utility trailer was stolen from this residence on Sky Ridge Drive in Anniston. And on July 12th, the residence on Mitchellville Road in Ohatchee was burglarized. They got away with a television, jewelry, and a safe. And last up on your Crime Stopper cases this week between July 1st and July 11th, this residence on Alloway Drive in Alexandria was burglarized. They got away with a washer, dryer, and television set. And that's it for the Crime Stoppers portion of our show. If you know anything about these cases, and we hope you do, please give us a call at Crime Stoppers. That number, 256-238-1414. Remember, we want your information and not your name. Stupid! You're so stupid! All right, so John, I know that a lot of times when somebody's getting arrested, there are other people related to them that are left behind. And it's generally a good idea for them to stay behind, right? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't want them chasing after the police vehicle that's taking their loved one away. No, that's, that's not good. Yeah, we had a case where this particular individual, her boyfriend was being taken off by the police. She's chasing after them in her car. Oh, dear. In the meantime, her boyfriend's in the police car saying, get me away from her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but they get to the police station, and she's still chasing them in there and pushes a police officer Oops. into a barricade trying to get in. So, yeah, she did get to go into the police station. I'm sure she did. She was not reunited with her boyfriend. No. <laughs> she probably got to stay someplace completely different. Oh, dear. You, yeah. you, you don't want to one up the police officers. You just no. You're just, not going to win that argument. No, no. <laughs> Those are tense times. Emotions run high during arrests, and family members can be concerned. But really, a little decorum goes a long way. Have you ever had a boyfriend or husband or anything say, "Get me away from her"? I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, Arrest me now, please. Yeah. Take me away. I don't care where to. <laughs> Maximum security doesn't matter. Get me away uh, from her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's some stories. But yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate you tuning in this week. If you missed part of the show, you can uh, watch it in entirety on demand at tv24.tv. You can also watch the videos that we have on the Calhoun County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. We'll be looking for you again next week on Calhoun County's Most Wanted but hopefully not in the lineup. EAC TV 24, Oxford, Anison, Gadsden.